Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. You have reached me, Velvet, at Red December 02. Thank you for stopping by. I usually film on Sundays and I'm outside today because I just love the lighting out here. Uh, but I gotta film quick because it's gonna be storming. Um, I was challenged to do try three foods that I never tried before and Aunt Sue had tagged me in that challenge and I am going to be tagging Marcella and Sammy and so uh, girl and girls <laughs> get ready for that food challenge so the, the food that I got today is all from Target all reasonably priced the first one is a pizza and it's by Archer's Farm and that is Target's company and the uh, margarita traditional crust it has mozzarella cheese grilled tomato and basil in it now i usually do love me some margarita pizza so i am hoping that i'm gonna you know enjoy this so that is gonna be food number one and uh it's right here and so i'm gonna give it a try to see if i like this uh, all right so again mmm mm mmm the seasoning is absolutely delicious mmm -hmm. mmm that that grilled tomato and the juices are overflowing and you can taste the basil it's very very delicious this is a huge winner this is very very delicious i definitely recommend it i'm definitely going to be trying this again mm -hmm. you guys as we're speaking when i was at target to do my food uh, getting all my food I got a couple of things and one of them is I had purchased this NYX liquid suede lipstick now we had talked about this before but I got a new color this is completely black and it's called alien so that is what I'm having on there and I'm kind of into getting into my dark lipsticks these days and I don't know dark polishes I have Oh, this is very, very delicious. All right. I'm just going to get, before I try my next food, I'm going to just get a swig of water. But how was everybody's weekend? Here, it was so hot. Oh, boy. And then I had uh, my best friend's wedding yesterday and that was just so beautiful she had a beauty and the beast wedding and um i'm still feeling so sentimental but it was just so beautiful um, both the wedding and they did so much for the reception uh yeah i'm just i my my, ha my heart is just so melting from all of that so i had a very good weekend uh, anyway so then my next food is is chicken fingers and it is also macaroni and cheese from banquet now this was only one dollar and i thought oh my gosh one dollar how can you go wrong and you get all of this food now i uh you just heat this up and it's ready to go and so i have that right here now i'm not this is what this looks like so you have three chicken fingers. They're pretty good sized and you have your macaroni and cheese. So this would be perfect for a child or an adult. This portion is really good. Now I'm not, I'm not too much on, I don't eat a lot of meat, you guys. So I, but I wanted to have some meat style for you guys that do. I'm just gonna try the macaroni and cheese. Now I have to tell you, macaroni and cheese either is delicious or it's horrible tasting so 
you know, it's either going to be a winner or it's not. It's going to be a... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Alright. It's, you know, it's what it is. It, it feels a little bit... It feels a little bit watery, but... I mean, for a dollar... It's not bad. Definitely not bad. The portion size is... No. You know, would I just buy the ma macaroni and cheese again? And probably not, but let's see what this chicken finger tastes like. Hmm. Isn't too bad. You know, it's not too bad or too good, but I'm thinking since it's just a dollar, this would be perfect for like a lunch or something. Uh, so it's kind of like a but since it's a dollar I'm thinking I'm going to give it a thumbs up now this is definitely and this definitely isn't something that I'm going to have every day but if it's like in my quick hurry to grab something to have a lunch for work this is for a dollar definitely that pizza I rated that pizza out of a hundred like a hundred or higher this I probably would rate I want to say like 30 out of 100. It isn't it isn't bad, but you know, I'm not a big connoisseur on chicken fingers. I don't eat a lot, so I I really can't compare. Um Yeah, it, it isn't too bad. It isn't too good. I will probably finish that off later. Okay, let me get another swig of water. I don't know if this was the best idea. I have flies and ants everywhere, you guys, out here. Like a little picnic. They're like, they came for the picnic. Hmm. Yes. Let me show you what else I had gotten at Target. So, I had gotten this um, brow volumizer by Maybelline. And I am really looking forward to trying this out. Now, this was on clearance for $4.48. I don't know what the original price was, you guys. But in one of these uh, videos coming up, I am going to be doing, excuse me, a little review on brow makeup. And I'm going to, I've been really looking into this, you guys. So I'm going to give my honest um, review on this and what I have been using, what I have been liking, and so to help you out. Because brows, that's a big p prominent part of your face, right? And so it's important. And I want to show you one other thing, because you know Black Beauty likes to dress up for his hauls on his videos. So I got him this little thing also at Target, is he's going to be a little unicorn. So, and that was only $2. So, isn't that so cute? I don't know. Should I wear that? I just think that that is just so... He's just going to look so cute in this. I just can... He loves you guys. He is just a natural star. But I just had... He just couldn't be around for this video because he was... He would have definitely given a thumbs up on all of the food reviews now this is a third one also from target it's bark thins and this is a dark chocolate and it has peanut with sea salt so this was on clearance it had been 390 now it's 320 oh no it was 459 and i got it for 321 you know they have in these little carts at uh, at target things that are in clearance i like to look through that Especially when, I like to get things on clearance, especially when you never tried things before, so you really have no idea if you like them or not. Uh, okay, so, alright. So looking into this, it looks something like this. You know, what, just to be honest with you, it looks like it's, a, maybe it was on clearance because it was a little bit old. Whoops. Um, you can tell like with the chocolate if it's a little bit old it still has a little bit different coloring to it but anyway I think usually the taste should still be okay wow you know I would I would normally say I'd give it a thumbs up but just because of that well let's see what it tastes like 
Hmm. Well, you guys, this is definitely not something I would get again. Um, but I'm not a big dark chocolate fan, but I just think this would have been a little bit better. You know what? I think it's because it was too old. What is the expiration date on this? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. No, I mean, it's not outdated or anything. It's February 2018. First, I thought it said 2016. Why the chocolate is just so old looking? That is weird. And of course, I have to have another bite. Because I still do like the... I mean, I didn't think it would be much better if it just wasn't... I don't know what... Well, that was a huge fallout. Um, that was a huge fallout. And I don't know why that was discolored chocolate like that. Well, anyway, yeah, so Marcella and Sammy, you are tagged. It's got to be three different foods you have never tried before. I know you like to do a lot of bargain shopping. I know you like to shop at different places like that. So you can get the food wherever. And I hope you really enjoy that. Well, you guys, it has been a fun adventure. Thank you, Aunt Sue, for this challenge. I would have never thought of it myself. And I hope everybody has a fabulous day and that they stay positive. And I love you, everybody. Kisses. Bye for now.